Welcome to the Vibronics training part 2. What we have learnt in our previous part, who is a founder of Vibronics, previously it was called Radionics, his qualification, how he started experimenting, it's a discovery that when a patient was standing in the west facing direction, he could see the strange phenomena on the patient abdomen. He mapped the abdomen. Then, very sick patient, they were not able to stand. He connected the wire from uh, the wire to the center of the eyebrow of the healthy subject. And then he observed the same hardness or dullness at that particular area where he is supposed to get as per the diagnosis of the patient. Now next part is he wanted to measure what is there you know how much frequency or what is that. The he took a registive network to measure. He connected with a patient and the rheostat or you can say series of resistances. Then the another end he connected to the center of the eyebrow of the subject. When the registive network was kept at zero. The disease frequency, disease information was passing through wire and to the subject and that he could notice the dullness according to the diagnosis of the patient who was not able to stand. Now, with the experiment, he also found that it is not necessary to have a patient available when doing this testing. We can take a some sample like blood, saliva, and keep in this a special device or you can see at my board background the round cup I'll just show you with a cursor this is a a cup holding the patient sample he called it as dynamizer Instead of patient, is resistive network is connected to the dynamizer and other end is connected to the healthy subject to test what are the or you can say diagnosis based on the drop of blood or sample kept in this dynamizer. The registive network he used in the diagnosis is called as reflexophone. So you can see this reflexophone here. This is a reflexophone he used. This is reflexophone he named it. Otherwise it is a resistive network of three resistances in series. First resistance, a variable resistance was you know, 0 to 50. The second one from 0 to 10 and 0 to 
so that he can precisely tune to the ohmic value as i previously discussed in the training part 1 he made a long table of different diseases and corresponding ohmic value now to uh, experiment when in this uh, dynamizer this dynamizer when a patient sample was kept along with a homeopathic medicine which is suitable for curing the curing the malaria suppose someone has malaria and the china officinalis if it is kept along with in this dynamizer no frequency pass to the subject even though these resistances are resistances are kept at zero no disease frequency pass to to healthy subject with this concluded that even homeopathy works as a frequency dr ruth drown took it a step forward replaced these uh, three knobs by nine knobs and this is how she connected to the patient grounding plate and another plate you know same these are all so a series of registers connected to patient and as well as grounding so in this radionics you can find similar technology till today existing in different names most of them are western countries western radionics still they are using this registive network in series radionic instrumentation developed further they replaced the subject abdomen with a rubber pad later they have found that this rubber membrane can be replaced by a acrylic sheet it has a good stick property i need to talk some more about dr ruth down she made a ruth drone camera one of her most famous picture by her camera was a picture of fetus by a drop of blood she is the first to derive rates for all homeopathic medicine she is the first doctor who started making homeopathic remedy by electronic instrument this radionic research took forward by another great doctor dr dalawar he designed a special instrument which can be used for treating as well as diagnosis a very popular machine most of the machines today are the a mixture of ruth drowns circuit and the dalawar circuit dalawar initially he used the split rings and connected into the parallel he assumed that the spindle traveled by the periphery of the split ring decides the frequency and all these frequencies once connected in in the parallel gives unique value or unique reading which will be corresponding to different organs and a part of the body or the disease 
each instrument from the front looked like this these are the variable registers later he replaced the split string with the variable registers because in one variable register a carbon film is there around the just like a split ring and a spindle moves around the carbon film and gives the same effect radionic journey took forward by another great scientist dr g gallen hieronymus he used the capacitor bank instead of a resistive network there is a large collection of rates single bank and double bank anonymous instrument those rates are used in most modern so called radionic instrument of today the next step into the instrumentation is many followers of the hieronymus machine found that the electrical circuit diagram of that instrument with an additional knob without any power supply also worked well with those rates thus the radionic became more of a mental faculty than the electronic involved into the circuit this every one who makes a radionic took the advantages we find thousands of different models different circuit diagrams we can find in the internet all of them work with a mental faculty mind detects mind convinces and mind heals this is what is being done by a pranic healing a reiki healing or any other healing system first they detect and second they assume that this has been removed or cured and there is and the result happens the result follows all the pictures shown in this training are taken from the internet and they have their own copyrights i just use them for a training 